Good morning, Greenlight the Day family. Welcome back. My name is Jane. Today I am subbing for Nisi. Um, this morning, the subject of my vlog is going to be suffering. I think that we all know that the world is suffering right now. Um, there's, there's so many things happen that make us feel uncertain and uh, insecure. Um, sometimes we don't feel like what we know what we're doing or what's the next step that we should do. And when we have those feelings, you know, those things cause suffering. And I think, you know, sometimes when we're in our suffering, it's really hard. It feels very hard and overwhelming. Um, to step out of it because um, <clears throat> all we know is that something's changed in our world something's happened that hurts and it hurts so much that you just pray for deliverance of this of this pain you know to be delivered from this pain and a lot of times you know I feel like when we're in it, praying for deliverance, we feel like we're not being heard, that nobody cares, that nobody under, could understand. Um, that nobody's willing to just sit quietly with you in the middle of your suffering without offering advice, just being able to love you, you know, in silence. And then there's also uh, moments where, you know, you feel like you want to talk, you, you need to talk, but you're not sure of, you know, of the people around you, what, who can you talk to? Who is it okay to talk to? Who would hold your pain in their hands? and in their hearts and protect it and keep it safe and not spread it around, you know, to the world. So as I was thinking about this suffering, um, over the last couple of years, I've watched and read um, some talks by uh, the Buddhist monk uh, Thich Nhat Han, which I hope I'm pronouncing right, I don't know. But there, he has a quote, and that quote is what I'm going to use to green light my day this morning. He said, We can always learn from our suffering. In the ash of suffering, a phoenix can be born. And today that's how I'm going to green light my day. Because I know that just like happiness is fleeting and impermanent, so is suffering. Because when we're in suffering, we can look back to other times where we felt beat up and scared and alone and realize we got through those times. Now I'm not gonna lie, being in the suck zone sucks. <laughs> when you're in the suffering, it feels like one second lasts a lifetime. But there are practices out there that help us get out of the suffering or to get some relief of suffering. And one of them is mindfulness. So today I'd like us to practice some mindfulness and when we're in a stressful moment or a moment of suffering and deep pain to just stop and breathe. <sighs> Pay attention to that breath. <sighs> Only think about that breath.
can feel my breathing. I'm here right now. I'm lifting up my hands and I can feel that I'm lifting up my hands. I'm here in this present moment. And there's no, there's relief in being aware of the breath and being aware of the movement. We'll get through this. Change happens in life. Suffering happens in life. But just because we suffer doesn't mean it lasts forever. And it doesn't mean that we can't find our joy in the red of this apple, in the eyes of a baby, in the touch of a hand from a friend, in the in the hug of a loved one. So I hope that you all have a great day. I hope that you've green laid it and really no matter what's going on, I hope you find a way to make it green. Love you.